what is up guys johnny here i'm back with more call of duty mobile in today's video how to start in call of duty mobile how to get started if you're new players got a bunch of tips for you guys today now if you don't have the game yet the game is in soft launch in canada and australia only so if you live outside of canada or australia and you cannot wait for global release i got a video for you guys it's already in the description just click the link it's called how to play call of duty mobile i got all the step by step for android and ios how to download the game now if you don't want to wait also if you got the game and you cannot get it to launch if you have a black screen or loading error or something like that i also have a video for you guys in the description so let's get into today's video before we start make sure you subscribe to the channel for more call of duty mobile news gameplay and guys let's get started now if you got the game running and you're ready to play here's a few things you gotta know to get started first of all let's go in the top left where you see your name and your level at the bottom you will see every reward that you get for leveling up it's good to know and you can check what rewards you're missing or what's coming next now to level up you need xp how to get fast xp how to level up faster well i'm gonna recommend you guys play some domination i know uh, maybe some people have different opinions about what are the best game modes if you're not that good and you don't get hundreds of kills in the battle domination is a great game mode to level up fast now next thing i want to look at is the pre-season pass or the next seasons but the battle pass is something you always got to keep in mind every day you will have new challenges in your battle pass doesn't matter if you're free to play or if you bought the premium battle pass you will have new challenges daily and every sunday night when the challenge reset sunday night you will get new weekly challenges that give even more points now i say you should always take a look every time you're about to go play some cut mobile you should always take a look at your ongoing challenges and keep them in mind what do you need to do today or what do you need to do this week to get extra points every day and every week you get challenges for both multiplayer and battle royale so you gotta play all game modes if you want to get the most points now you see my challenges that just uploaded today i gotta kill 90 enemies in multiplayer kill four enemies in battle royale that's something i don't really need to know it's just gonna happen while playing but if i scroll down a little bit earn medals uh, kill enemies in multiplayer but the last one kill 90 enemies with assault rifle in multiplayer match so knowing that if i'm going to play some multiplayer today i would be smart to use assault rifles because i know i have a challenge to do so today's example pretty easy but sometimes some weeks or some days you have more challenging stuff to do something you would normally not do like kill enemies with grenades in battle royale this is something i rarely do but if i have a challenge i will try to keep it in mind same thing for using the knife get like four knife kills uh in multiplayer well i don't usually do it that much but if i have a challenge i will try to use my knife more now the big question should you buy the battle pass or not should you buy the premium or the premium plus well it's up to you if you want to stay free to play you still have plenty of rewards to unlock but keep in mind you got to do all your challenges every day if you want to reach tier 100 by the end of the season because it's not going to be easy if you don't have the extra challenges from the premium pass now if you're going to buy the premium pass should you buy the cheap one at 800 cut points or should you buy the big one at 2000 honestly guys i recommend going for the cheapest one there's no point paying the extra dollars to start 25 tiers ahead because look there's 34 days left i'm already tier 86 and i don't even play that much i have a bunch of challenges that i have not done yet and i have plenty of time to see more daily challenges and more weekly challenges so honestly i don't think it's worth the extra money however if you decide to go that way you'll just go and do more by the end of the season so it means you're gonna get a bunch of credits for free because after 100 you start getting credits every tier from 100 to 150 you'll get 100 each tier and after 150 you'll get 200 each tier as you can see here so 
I mean, it's okay. Like, it's cool to have a bunch of credits because you have a few guns in the shop that you can buy for credit and you might have a chance to have them faster. Now, one more thing I want to tell you guys is look at the top. You see a, a red marker, uh, a notification. It's the gift system, guys. If you receive friend requests, if you don't have friends in the game, it's okay to accept friend requests from people you don't know because when you have friends, they can send you gifts and you can send them gifts. The gifts are XP cards to level up your weapons faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept that gift from Chad. And I'm gonna go on my friend list. And you said I have a bunch of friends and I can send them gifts. Now the thing here is you have a maximum of gifts you can send every day. So even if you have like hundreds of friends, I think you can only send three gifts every day. So I'm gonna try. Here is one, sent successfully. Here is gift number two, sent successfully. And gift number three, sent successfully. Now here's the next one. Uh, it's four, okay. And then, now, like it says, chances, are, chances of presenting the gift uh, is, uh, what did they say, reach the limit. So I was able to send five, no, four gifts. And then it says the limit has been reached. So I don't really know exactly how it works. I thought it was three, but apparently I could send four. So maybe there's a, a waiting time and then you can send more. Guys, if you know more about the gift system, please leave a comment below, really important, because I want to understand everything all the time. But still, every night when I get into the game, I grab my gift and I send gifts. It costs nothing. It's not your cards that you're sending. You're just sending away stuff for free. So do this every day, guys. And the more friends you gift, maybe they will gift you back also. But the more friends you have, the more chance, the better chance you have at receiving gifts, right? So it's a pretty cool feature and it's gonna help you. As you can see, um, I got another one and it's the same guy. I just sent him a gift. He was online, he sent me a gift back. So it's something that you can do is look at your friends and if they're online, send them a gift. Also, you can see on the friend list how long they have been offline. So if I see someone that he didn't play the game for 23 uh, hours, I mean, it's not that bad, but five days, 11 days, I mean, maybe they quit the game. So I'm not going to send gifts to someone if he hasn't played uh, in over a week because he might never get it anyways because he doesn't play anymore, maybe, you know, and there's not likely it's not likely he's going to send you a gift back. So might as well send gifts to your active friends. The next thing I want to show you guys at the bottom is the loadout. We have loadouts in Cud Mobile and when you start the game, you only have one loadout. How to unlock the extra loadouts? Because you can get up to five loadouts. Well, you get loadouts by leveling up once again. So farm XP, play a lot, you'll get XP, you'll level up. It's not something you have to do, it's just gonna happen. And you see the last loadout, you unlock at level 105. 105 is loadout number five. So it's a pretty long grind, but it's cool to have extra loadouts. So yeah, you can play around, you can use different perks, different weapons on different loadouts. So depending on what you have to do, you can keep a loadout free for your challenges only. And anytime you have like a weapon challenge, you can go on the last loadout and use a loadout for that challenge specifically. It's also cool to have a SMG loadout and a auto rifle loadout. If you have both, when you get on a small map, it could be better to use a mobile class with uh, SMG because SMGs perform really good in small maps. Now, if you have a bigger map, you can use AR. On top of that, you can use a sniper class for even bigger maps or your favorite sniper maps if you like to play snipers. But I think the loadout feature is pretty cool. It saves a lot of time. I know in some other games, uh, we don't have that and it's frustrating a little bit sometimes, but it's a cool feature in Call of Duty Mobile. Now, last thing is the game modes, guys, multiplayer and battle royale. In multiplayer, you can play match or rank. And rank, I already have a video about that. I'm not going to go into it today, but you get rewards for playing rank and progressing uh, on the rank play. Now, Battle Royale, again, there's more stuff coming soon. But right now, we only have four player squads, but in the future, we'll have duos and single player. Now, one thing I cannot wait to see is the zombie mode. I heard it's being reworked. So maybe we'll have some fresh news next week. I don't know if you heard, but we have an update coming soon. So in the next five days, we should have server maintenance and an update 
in Call of Duty Mobile. So guys, that will be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the short video. Hope it will help you get started in Call of Duty Mobile. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.